Do you be, what, what, do you believe in aliens? I told you I sat down with experiencers I think it's the name which are people who've actually which is the politically correct term for <laughs> abductees <laughs> they've been abducted by aliens I sit down with a group of them Headline edition, July 8th, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found at Roswell, New Mexico, and is now in the possession of the Army. Okay, I believe I'm that. I'm gonna channel my inner Fox Mulder. Yep. Because today I am Do you know Fox Mulder is? No. Did a spaceship crash here? Were there little aliens taken off this spaceship? And are there people who can corroborate and verify if this actually happened? And to help me in my search for the truth is former UFO special investigator Don Schmidt. This guy was a beauty. And it's but not a real is job, is it? Yes. That's a real job. He, gets, uh, he's a he Uf makes a salary for being a UFO specialist. Investigator. Investigator. He even said right now when me and him were walking on the street, if we looked up in the air and waved, they would be taking pictures of us because they're following this guy because he's so into... I want to so know who's into. paying this guy. Don Schmidt. I want to know who... Pays Don Schmidt's bills. Well, we paid him for the day. Right, but the government's not paying him. This the is government's not trying to kill him. This is not an actual profession. We actually escaped. Uh, we had a few near-death experiences this day. That was retracted and was nothing more than a weather balloon. The witnesses were all threatened. Is it hot outside? Why is he wearing a coat? <laughs> He's a full-on suit. <laughs> Listen, if you're an alien hunter, you got to look good all the time. You're constantly under, uh, under surveillance. cover up. And what crashed here was indeed a craft of unknown origin manufactured off this planet. True story. story doesn't stop there. This is the actual hangar where the aliens were. We're standing in the very hangar where the bodies from the vehicle. Okay. But if me and you were to see these bodies, would it be. If they had the, the actual bodies, where are the photographs of them? Where's proof? The I'll... government has them. Oh, the government does? And this was 1947. Not everyone had cell... They didn't have cell phones back then. They had Morgan. cameras. Why... The real question is... What... what do the aliens have a TikTok? <laughs> I bet they know how to do savage. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Stop it! You're, you weren't allowed to do TikTok dances. That was a deal. I'm a savage. Yes. The most prominent was the head. Large, almond-shaped eyes, like horse eyes. Mm -hmm. Horse eyes, a very diminutive nose, mm -hmm. just a slit for a mouth, yep. and just openings for the ears. They appeared like human beings, but they weren't. They appeared like human beings, but they weren't. Like this guy's full of it. D no, like, he... Rick, like Rick Schmidt. No, I know Don Schmidt. Oh. <laughs> Same thing. Don Schmidt. Don Schmidt is essentially the Tiger King of aliens. See, here, he's pissing me off because I do believe in like UFOs. I think those yeah. are real. I think aliens you are. You believe in this guy? <laughs> I think aliens are real in the form of maybe light or mm -hmm. like a giant star, essentially. Okay. But I don't think that they look. Like this, like comical so you with like the big head. I don't think little big headed green aliens are going to come walk around the planet. So aliens then you think are on earth in the form of giant stars. So essentially you're sitting next to an alien. <laughs> you're an idiot. You're not a star. <laughs> yes, I am. Shine bright like a diamond. Every summer, Roswell plays host to the UFO Festival. It's an actual festival. A gathering of not only diehard People believers, come from all over. Alien abductees. Abductees. Or experiencers, as they prefer to be called. Who here this is believes a joke. in aliens and UFOs? I saw an object in Santa Fe in 2014. Okay, so, so just so you know, now... Do you think if I was sitting in a room of people who claim to have been abducted by aliens that I would not be sarcastic and joke around with every yeah. single person and take the piss out of everyone in the room? Well, look at how seriously I take this. 
Got to be a triangular shape of craft. There was a circle of light in my backyard, and this man was standing in it. Here's this spaceship, five stories tall. Uh -huh. We were abducted. He's skinny, spindly. He's Look at this guy. This guy's like, he, he's like an actual legend. Like everybody around there knows. But all these people said that they were abducted. This is the therapist. Yeah, she looks like she means business. This guy was my favorite, okay, in the blue shirt here with the That's crazy, like crazy sneakers. sneakers. So it's it, I'm still to this day upset that they didn't show it. But his interview was the best because he said that he shot the aliens with a Chinese laser. He bought a 300 megawatt laser from China and he shot the aliens. And when he said that, everyone in the room looked at him and so did the therapist. Like, how dare you make up a story? It's a us. Chinese laser. A laser beam from China. <laughs> okay. Like, a, like a, you know, like the laser pointers, but like more powerful. Oh. So they have a belly button. Yeah. They have a genitalia. These stories have me intrigued. But what I'm looking for is proof. So who are you going to call? Well, the UFO seekers, of course. This is not real. No, these are real people. This is, they don't have a logo on their car. We're headed to the UFO crash site where the object was discovered that crashed in 1947. Who knows? You might find something. Yeah. Now, let me tell you the worst part about this. Okay. So, again, my producer, Rianne, after, after I'm not allowed to make fun of the experiencers, she goes, okay, now we're going to go out to the, actual, to the crash site where okay. this spaceship crashed. Right. Now... This is Roswell, New Mexico. This was the first year after 70 years that the the crash site was open to the public. It's oh. always been, it's on private land, so it's always been kept private, okay. right? We drove two and a half hours wow. to get here. Two and, you and had, a half hours wait. with the UFO seekers. You had to yes. ride in the car with yes. the UFO seekers. With the UFO seekers, I sat in a car for two and a half hours, right? So we finally get to, we're going through foothills and all shit and we stop and I'm like okay we're here she goes no it's about two miles that way Rianne but we can't go over there we need a, t a permit for ten thousand dollars so we're just gonna look here I'm like why did we drive out here for two and a half hours <laughs> if we weren't gonna go to the crash site we were two miles away from it so you couldn't why see didn't anything? we just drive into behind our hotel which looked exactly like this all of Roswell looks like this and saved ourselves the trip what Sorry, I'm still distracted by why do you need a $10,000 permit to go here? Because they're making money on it. Because it's on their ranch. It's like, and it's like, because weirdos come from all over the country to well, look for UFOs. Have they paid $10,000 to see it? No. Well, then no, not, it was. They're not pro they're UFO for, seekers then. It was. Military airspace. Was ten, see, I, now this was, I flew this drone right here. And I, doesn't that kind of look like an alien spaceship crash there? I mean, kind of, like if it crashed. Yeah, like, yeah, if you squint and. Look at it from a different angle. Yeah. And UFOs, they're attracted to areas like that. If we do see aliens today, I don't need to make sure I outrun the aliens. I just need to make sure I can outrun the two of you. It's true. See? Okay, First, that kind of looks like a crater. To see if we can find any debris left over from a possible crash. It's a metal detector. So you guys are using a metal detector two miles away right. from the crash site? Yep. Right? Yes. Numbers. numbers on there. We got 75J. Oh, you got a hit? Look at that. Right on top of the dirt. That looks older. I have a question. Do you guys had to have planted these metal objects? No way. Hell no, we're professionals. Uh, lever assembly. Ah, professional got? UFO hunters don't plant oh, stuff. Okay. Now that actually... Oh, you did find something. See, ah. that's what we're looking for. They can't really be bent or destroyed. And you can see how thin this is and you can't even flex the material. Yeah. Yep. Good catch, Tracy. Good job, team. <laughs> At a girl, Tracy. But to actually Tracy see the UFO, is... Tracy was a legend. From something the else. To the night sky. Oh, at night. Now, what if I told you... Oh, boy. What if I told you, Morgan, I just want to pack it all up, just sell it all, let's go on the road, and let's be UFO hunters. <laughs> I'm going to have to say I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to leave this relationship. <laughs> Morgan, listen, you can I still do I, all I your fitness. He... You can do all your fitness stuff on the road, but let's just pack up shop. Let's get in our Subaru out back. Yeah. We'll put a logo on the on the door. We'll put a sticker on the door. It's a UFO Seekers 2.0. And let's just go drive around with our equipment looking for UFOs. What do you say? 
I think you're on your own, bud. I think so you're on your own. Solid emanating. Everyone needs themselves a Tracy. Light and things that move directions. Look at that. It's like I can see in the dark. Wait, hold on. We got what movement. do you say that is? Was that, that real? What? Is, yes, that's real. What the hell is that? Yeah, yeah. A, a, a airplane? Uh, no. What's that? Airplanes don't move that and stop. Airplanes don't do that. That's not I, I real. Lost yes, lost. it was. That we actually saw that. Did you get to keep your UFO secret hat? Yes, I did. I think it's still in my room somewhere. You should wear it. I actually should. I, should wear it I saw some things on that night vision. How much camera. sun I got? That's yeah, you're toasty. I can't necessarily explain. What the heck is that? Is my skepticism 100% removed? No, but I honestly feel like yeah. I am a lot closer to the truth than I was when I got here. That's kind of creepy. Dude, boom. <laughs> UFO. I remember the one. Where so, were you the first time you saw a UFO? I've never seen a UFO. You just did. Well, I'm still a bit of a skeptic. Well, you shouldn't because... We found them, we recorded them, and I just showed them to you. Well, you know what? I bet when aliens do come to invade the Earth, you're probably going to be abducted first because you're the one who's searching for them. Whereas I feel like I wouldn't be abducted because I'm just turning a blind eye to them. So I'm not messing with them. I'm leaving them alone. So I'm just saying, when aliens come to attack the Earth, you mess, you mess with the UFO seekers. You're probably going to be the first one to go. And you're going to be the first one to be probed. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's just how it goes. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. For more, subscribe to First Look and come with me on all my adventures around the world. Who am I kidding? I'm probably sitting at home watching Netflix or playing Xbox. Either way, what are you waiting for? Just hit subscribe already.